Hi guys, and welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Tales of Basia. In the last episode, we gave uh, Goofy Uro Uing have a fight and. Yeah, we gig actually have a cuxy. Well, yeah, let's head back in and see how the process is going. Okay. Of all the things, a damned demon watching over me? To atone for this grave sin. can do. Forgive me, Lord Artorius. It's Melchior's communication art. I send Melchior to check out the Earth Pulse. And what a strange sight does he find. My lord, I have failed you. Lift your head, Eleanor. The Shepherd has a special mission for you. A special mission? You are to protect the Malak Lafiset and bring him to the Logris Abbey headquarters. This mission is highly classified, and not to be shared with even the Legates. Protect the Malik and bring him to the capital then?
With the utmost secrecy. Your becoming his vessel is in fact quite fortunate. Maybe so. But with me as his vessel, the Moloch may interfere. This Moloch may have his own will, but he can be manipulated. Do whatever it takes to get the job done, Eleanor. You act under my full authorization. Even were it to mean obeying the orders of a demon? But, my lord, what Moloch could possibly be that valuable? Are you saying you cannot? Shame is only a fleeting emotion. It is will and reason that ultimately prevail in the face of calamity. My lord, I live to serve the principles of your teachings. The Earth Pulse will soon close. From here on, you must use your own discretion to execute your mission. feeling I'm fine listen don't try anything like that again pain is pain is scary right mm -hmm. I'm all right no more running away I'm Laffy said it's good to finally meet you properly, Eleanor. Y yeah likewise. Don't worry. If you try running, you won't get far. Once I've eaten your arms and legs, I merely need you alive to act as his vessel. Nothing more. That won't be necessary. I swore an oath before our duel. An oath? grants power in exchange for a certain constraint. Mine was, if I lose, I will obey my opponent. Once put in motion, an oath cannot be broken by the one who swore it. I will keep my promise to you because I must. Hmm. An oath, is it? In that case, I have a question for you. What does the Abbey plan to do with the Nominat? To wipe out the demons, of course. We want to end the era of disaster once and for all. And how exactly does the Abbey plan on wiping out the demons? Is the Nomenot going to wander the land, slaughtering them all? They... they never told me. And Nomenot's ritual is kept confidential even within the Abbey. All I know is that it involves Melchior. 
Hmm. And it looks like the only way we'll figure out Inominat's true nature is by deciphering the Lafisette's book. We'll have to track down Mogilu's friend, the one who can read the ancient tongue. If we go to East Sultan Southgand, we ought to find some clues to her whereabouts. But first, we have to figure out where we are now. We need to find a settler or a village. Something. <laughs> I'm surprised us chuckleheads even know our own names. Even the greatest scholars don't know everything at first. You can't get answers without asking for them. <laughs> Fair enough. Hard to argue with that. I've never seen a Moloch quite like him. Eleanor, your job is going to be to protect Lafayette, even if it brings you into conflict with other exorcists. Because if you turn on me... I know. Like I said, I can't betray you. Listen, Lafayette. If she makes any strange moves, we want you to stop her immediately, okay? I don't think Eleanor is such a bad person. Besides, she's oath-bound to her promise. She's lying, obviously. That's only something you do if your life depends on it. Yep. An oath is an art that takes complex rituals and lots of hard work and time. Hardly worth the trouble, to be honest. I told you already. She wants to take you away from us. Women are creatures of deceit, boy. If you say so. She's right. Of course that goes doubly so for Velvet the Vengeful Villainess. Well, I won't deny it. Okay. Hmm. Skeet. Hmm. What is it, Lafayette? I was told that women's looks can be deceiving, but I'm not sure what I'm supposed to see. That's an age-old problem for men. You with me, Eisen? Aye. Women are fickle creatures at best. They lie as easily as they breathe, and men can never see through their deceptions. I totally feel you. Sounds like you've both been through hard times. The wounds women leave on a man's heart take longer to heal than a cut delivered by a sword. Uh, it's that bad? Beware a maiden's tears, boy, and guard yourself well. That's my advice to you. Beware tears and guard myself. Don't put any weird ideas into Lafayette's head, you two. They're just facts. If you fill his head with any more garbage, I'm eating both of you. Yes, ma'am. Yikes. The swordsman and the pirate having troubles with women? <laughs> well, women are nothing if not difficult. I have the deepest sympathy for you both. What do you think of the ladies' reactions? Well, Velvet won't eat either of you, and Mogilu didn't seem sympathetic at all. See? Appearances can be deceiving. And it seems you've absorbed the lesson well. Right! I'm not like that, though. Huh? Yes, some women use their tears to manipulate others, but not all do, and I for one despise such duplicity. The women who did that to Aizen and Rokuro are just the extreme. Yeah, I can see how much you hate this honesty, Eleanor. Huh? Um, yeah, that's right. Be a good example for the boy, then, so he doesn't end up like Rokuro and me. I intend to do just that, whether or not you ask it of me. Eleanor is a lot stronger than she appears. Okay, oh, you can't skip me. Well, I'm going to end this episode here. I don't want to run out. Run this episode to run out too long. 
This is it for this episode of Let's Play Case of Brazil. See you guys next time. Salve, see you, thank you. 